Welcome back to Multisim 14.2 tutorial part three. In this video, I'll show you two things. So IV characteristics curve for dialed and NPN transistor. To do this, we'll be using IV analyzer. As you know, there is a whole bunch of instrument here. So this is our IV analyzer. Let's have that. And bring a diode. So we've got a diode here. Now this analyzer, if we double click on this, it will show us where to connect this diode. See the three terminals here, it has three terminals. So the leftmost one should be connected to the P-type materials of this diode. And the middle one should be connected to the N-type materials of this diode. So the connection is done now. We need to choose from here, although this is right, this diode now. So make sure that you have selected diode, go to the simulation parameters, so you can define the start voltage, voltage, let's make it zero. And stop voltage, let's make it 0 0.8. Now, the current limit initial is zero. We're not expecting any negative current here. And the final current is not kilo ampere, it's too high. So let's put a 20 milliampere limit. Done. You need to go to simulate and choose this one and make sure this is selected as interactive simulation. We got all set, so click simulations, run. Okay, so you got it here. Very nicely, this characteristics curve is given. So now we want to see the transistor characteristics using the same analyzer. So let's pick an NPN transistor. Uh, I can pick any random. So let's say 3904. So we got a 3904 here. Great. And let's double check the connections. So it says the leftmost terminal should be connected to but a second, we need to change it to NPN transistor. So the left pulse should be connected to base. And then emitter should be connected to middle one and the collector should be connected to the rightmost one. They're not connected here, it's a crossover. If they were connected, there would have been a dot. So let's go to simulation parameters. Now we have two parameters because it depends on VCE and it depends on IB as well. So let's take the start voltage as zero and VC can go up to 20 volts with an increment of 50 millivolts. And IB, let's start with zero IB and up to 60 IB, 60 microampere, change it to microampere, microampere with an increment of Let's put it six. Let's 
steps. So that is okay. Now the current here, the minimum current, we are not expecting any negative current here, but mm -hmm. our maximum current can be, let's say 20 milliampere, of course not kiloampere, and the voltage range will have from zero to 20 volts. With this, we should be ready for our simulation and let's click on run. And as you can see, we have all different colors for different base currents. And we got the transistor characteristics curve here. So this is a very useful tool for analyzing device characteristics such as diode, NPN transistor, BN, PNP transistors, and PMOS, NMOS, and so on. Thank you for watching.